What is up guys? So in this video, we're going to go over the latest breaking news regarding people associated with Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, one of the people that were linked to Ghislaine Maxwell and considered to be thought to be her husband, her secret husband by many people, is Scott Borgerson. Now, this guy has resigned from his company because of all the media attention that this association with Gilead and Maxwell has brought him. So if you guys remember, I actually did a video on this a couple of months ago. Uh, there was court uh, court papers that showed that Gilead and Maxwell was actually married um, and she had a secret husband. Now, the name was not released in those court documents, so we didn't actually know who he was, but there was a lot of speculation due to the fact that they were seen together they were seen playing house they were living together and sometimes had even had even had kids over that looked that people thought were their children and their neighbors recounted to the media that they had dinner parties and they they invited people over and everybody just assumed that they were married so they played house for a long time so that's why the rumor started that that burger son was married to Ghislaine Maxwell but anyways this is a you know tangentially related story but I want to cover this for you guys before before I check out for the weekend. So this is a story from G Captain and uh, they have directly co been contacted or they contacted the company and the company verified that he has indeed left the company. So let's read a little bit about this. Cargo Metrics founder and CEO Scott Burgerson resigns. Scott Burgerson has resigned from his role as CEO of Cargo Metrics, the shipping data analytics company he founded in 2010. G Captain has learned Tradewinds News broke the story today that Burgerson stepped down due to in Intense media interest surrounding his rumored links with Jeffrey Epstein associate Ghislaine Maxwell. Privately held cargo metrics has confirmed that Burgerson did in fact resign as CEO from the company's board in late July to ensure present his presence would not become a distraction from the work he believes in so deeply. And quote, the company said in a statement to G Captain. Cargo Metrics president and chief operating officer Jess Scully has been appointed CEO of the company and he has also been named to the company's board, the company said. Now, this is a Boston-based technology company founded by Borgerson in 2010. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff about the company. We don't really care. And yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I did a story about Borgerson before. So I wanted to give you guys an update on this. And uh, yeah, so that's it. He's gone. So another person loses a job because of uh, his association with uh, Gilead Maxwell. Now, we don't know if this guy's guilty of anything. As far as I've heard, nobody nobody has come out and accused her, him of uh, you know being involved in, in Jeffrey Epstein's or Gilead Maxwell's enterprise. Uh, the whole you know, the whole uh, setup that they had going on Virgin, the Virgin Islands and his planes and all these other places and in New York. So he's not been linked to any of that. He's just been linked uh, directly to Ghislaine Maxwell and people have seen them together living together. So that's the reason that people speculate that they were married, but we don't have direct 100% confirmation that this is true. So that's all I got for this video. As always, you can support me down below by clicking a join button, joining my uh, memberships on YouTube, or you can support me on Patreon. The link is in the top right hand corner. With that being said, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. As always, peace. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and consider some of the ideas I present in my videos. If you appreciate my evidence-based, non-partisan approach to reporting legal and political news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. My long-term goal on this channel is to get to a point where I can do news analysis full-time. Grassroots funding is the best way for independent news reporters to remain uncorrupted by corporate influences. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, those dollars add up in the aggregate, and it will be much appreciated by me. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.